What's going on everyone? This is RFB at Raising the Financial Bar with Mar. So today I'm just doing another update in regards to the targeted advance and the supplemental targeted advance as well. But before we get into that, I want to briefly show you the stats on the two recent polls I made about four or five days ago. So to start with, we have the poll about the targeted EIDL advance. I see a good significant portion of you have had it in submitted status and for who knows when. And also I see a significant portion that have had the money deposited into their bank account. However, with this small sample here, we can still determine that the SBA has a lot of room for improvement. And right here we have the supplemental grant poll as well. And 43% of all people that participated in this poll are in submitted status. While it's welcoming to see that amount, it still brings me the question, how many out of those people that are in submitted status are stuck in submitted status? Based on the information that I've seen throughout social media and under my own comments, there have been a good amount of people that have been sitting and submitted from weeks to months. All right, so first things first, I recently checked out Big Boy Jason uh, YouTube and he's saying that it's rumored that the 4506T form is not going to no longer be required so please let me know if you're experiencing that and what i'm going to do right now is just add a quick clip where he mentions that and also the discrimination that's going on with others that are not fitting the low income requirement is it really true that loan officers are telling applicants many of which are on this channel that as of a week ago They've already gotten rid of the 4506T requirements. And did we just have $2 million funded in the last 48 hours? Make sure you step forward in the comments below. And what do I mean when I say there's middle income discrimination at the SBA? So like I said, I would take this with a grain of salt. But if this is the case, then that means that a lot more applications will be funded also like i've said before subscribe to jason's youtube just because he has a lot more information if you didn't hear also he said two million more funded in that span of time and i don't have that type of quantitative data and i can understand why he would say it is discriminatory um against middle income individuals because the funding so far is targeted for people that are implied lower income based on their location. And for the thousandth time, I am in favor of everybody, regardless of where they're located, being able to have access to this funding if they've experienced economic loss, you know? I feel we all deserve it, low income, middle income. Keep in mind, the whole reason for the 4506T form is just so that the SBA can determine that you're a legitimate business, that you have actual revenue, and that the information that you're inputting is correct. All right, so back to what you can do if you're having issues with your application. For those of you that have been denied, if you do not know, please reach out to this email if you have been denied so that you can be put into reconsideration. There have been people that have waited a long period of time to be reconsidered, but through patience and faith and keeping up with the department, they have been able to receive their funding. If you have questions about how to complete your chart for the gross receipts, on your application or just questions about some of the questions they may ask you or pretty much general topics business related you can reach out to me via my email and we can set up that consultation call i was doing a lot of them for free for quite a while but after a couple of months i'm now charging i know many of you are frustrated because it's been months on months since you've received any updates to your claim, but the only thing I can tell you to do is keep on staying in contact just to regularly make sure that they're working on your application actively and check to see if your loan officers can tell you something that you might not already know. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I appreciate the support. As always, this is RFBM, Raising the Financial Bar with Mar. Peace, love, and blessings. Take care.
Our own mind has to be changed. We have to change our uh, mind about ourselves. But this, but this world, world is such a... Gimme, 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 gimme. Everybody back off. You know, you know everybody, everybody like taught, taught that from school. I, I don't come to bow, you know. I come to conquer.